So today we're gonna go through how to get your socks white for the show ring. And for this, we're gonna need a soft bristled brush, some shampoo. I always go with either blue or purple shampoo because it neutralizes the yellowing of the socks. And then you want some purple shampoo. I just get this from places like B&M. This is a real big bottle, but it's less than five pounds. It's really quite cheap. Um, the Touch Silver Brightening Shampoo. And then you want some whitening powder. This is Matthew Burke's whitening powder. Um, this bottle is just this shampoo tipped into that bottle so I can, it's easier for me to use. How to get your socks shiny, a nice bright white for the show ring all comes down to the preparation and the, the care of your socks in the weeks, months leading up to a show. Um, you won't be able to, if your horse has been out all year long and you've done no care to the socks at all, the first show you go to, you're not gonna get real bright socks. Um, because if dirt has been left on the sock all year long, it will stain. And the only way you can really get rid of a, a true stain is by the change of the coat through the year. Um, so all year long, I regularly, even if it's not going out showing, we regularly just brush off the mud off his socks and wash them as and when is needed, just so nothing does stain. And also, like through the winter, I don't wash off mud off their socks when they come in at the night time. I do feel that when they go into their straw stables, the straw wipes a lot of it off but because the hosing of your legs each day will cause other issues like brittle feathers or sore heels. So we just care for the socks as the year goes on, just through regular brushing and a quick wash if need be. So how I get them ready for the shows is always, when they come in for their bath for the show, I always give them a good brush off to get rid of any loose hair or mud before we start bathing. Um, so we just get a soft bristles brush and we get any mud, burrs, or anything out of their feathers to begin with. And any loose mud off their hooves. And then we get the hose and really soak through the socks. Getting your fingers in, making sure all the feathers and the back of the heel is wet. And then I always start again with a soft bristled brush. You want to wash your hooves because you don't want when you're washing the sock to be able to get any dirt from the hoof into the sock. So always just give that a wipe off. So when your sock is nice and wet, you start with the first shampoo. This was the Deep black shampoo, as I say, should be either blue or purple in colour to really neutralise the yellowing of the socks. We get this all over into their heels and their feathers. And you just want to rub it in. Really get your nails in to get any deep mud from below. Don't forget to get right deep into the feathers and the heel. And then I get the brush to really 
get deep down into the fire. Remembering all your feathers, the ends, as well as deep into the skin. And don't forget to go right back to your heel. Just rinse that one off. Getting your fingers in to get the soap and again any dirt, deep ingrained dirt out. It's just so you're not just washing the surface of the fur, you're washing inside as well. As you can see, you can notice a big difference in the colour of that sock already. But once you've washed the first lot of shampoo off, then we go in with the purple shampoo. So it's this Touch Silver Brightening Shampoo, and uh, you don't want much of it at all. But we rub that around the sock, the feathers, Ideal to use gloves for this one because it does turn your hands purple. But again, we just want to get really deep into the socks and the feathers. Get it all rubbed in. Use your nails and get right under the hair. Onto your heel. Good scrub all round every part of the foot. And then we leave that on for five minutes. Then after your five minutes is up, you just want to rinse off. Again, just getting your fingers right in there because this purple shampoo can leave a purple tinge if you don't get it all out. Of course, you need to also get the Coralette band to make sure there's no purple on that. Brilliant stuff, but you really do need to wash it out properly. Make sure you get right into your feathers and your heel. And then when your sock is still wet, you put on this whitening powder. I just use an old cut off bit of sponge, but you put it on, dab it on your wet leg. This will go into like a creamy paste and uh, stay on your leg. So get that all over your white bits and on your feathers. Make sure it's all covered. And then you'll wrap that up 
and bandage it up for the night so that when you get to the show your leg will be dry and all this powder will be dry as well ready for you to brush it off and just go straight in the ring if you like PC, please like and subscribe. Why not check out this video I've got here all about how to bath your horse ready for the show ring.